hot call, y'all, hot call. Uh, The guy. My shit's popping up. Possibly, allegedly slit his own wrist and his throat, and is uncooperative in this house right here. And they have A and T. What's up, Howard? What's up, Jacob? What's up, stand up? Um, uncooperative male. Possibly, allegedly slit his own wrist and his throat. So. We're up here. I'm out here with Midwest uh, accountability. What's up, Janet? Sorry for a while. There's a fire truck right next to me on my right. Uh, we are in Peoria, Illinois, here on the 3100 block of North Harvard. Kid they carved out. There's three kids. They're yeah. taking the kids out of the house to do it with them. I think. What we got is a man with a What's up, Frank? What's up, Bama guy? Paul coming across the radio. Yeah, they're going in after. We need to get down there. Yeah, they got a shield. They're going in. They just got the lady and the kid out. So we got a situation on hand here. We're going to try and get as close as we possibly can. Guys, I'm kicking my tripod. So if you guys can see it, they're actually in this house right here. So uh, Midwest Accountability is live also. I'm doing wonderful. Hope you guys are having a great evening. We've been out since like 9 o'clock tonight. Cop watching. There's a poor little puppy flipping out in there. What's up, Case Stevenson? What's up, Gray Dude? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. They're, unfortunately, they're inside. Um, one officer with a riot shield just went in as well. Um, so, we'll see. I got. Midwest over here on my left. There is some squad car down here making a really bad noise. I'm driving back. Hold on, I gotta go look.
Hey officer, I know you're on scene on something, but unit 579 down here, the engine is like messed up really bad. It sounds like it's gonna blow up. You guys wanna check this out. Listen to this, listen to this cop car. We're gonna walk off for a minute. Remember, uh, Midwest is live as well. You can bounce in between us. I know y'all can hear this car. That's the serpentine belt that broke. You can hear it. It's just flip flopping in the engine. We're walking back up, y'all. She don't know how to get that tray put back in. Hmm? Uh, no, state or county. Oh, no, A&T. That's the supervisor. What's up, Kilton? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's messed up. And I think it just quit. Okay, so one of the officers came out and said, for the love of God, does anybody have a cigarette? Well, I happen to smoke, and yeah, I got cigarettes. And I think the guy inside wanted one, and if it'll calm him down, I'm glad to help. It took my lighter, too. Oh yeah, that squad's definitely gonna need a tow. It just quit running. Hey, when you're in the need for cigarette, you don't care at that point, man. I don't know. Uh, Midwest has another lighter. I'm good, but thank you all. <laughs> Get my lighter back. Woohoo! Oh, hey, Freddie. Yeah, I'm doing good, my friend. Same. Yeah, sorry guys, I walked over to grab a light from Midwest. Yes, please people, 15 of you in here, only seven thumbs up. Come on, crank it up for me. So, if you guys are just tuning in, I'll give you a quick update. So, this guy is actually kind of barricaded in the basement of his house and he allegedly slit his wrist and his throat. There's a bunch of cops inside right now with him 
and again one of the cops just came out and asked for the love of God does anybody have a cigarette and they are putting up crime scene tape now hey so they got tape going up oh I know yes hey get ready go they're gonna push us back they got tape going up because they got a yeah this is the whole scene now y'all they're, they're putting tape up Unfortunately, gentlemen, do you mind going behind the tape for me, please? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, I got to cut around this tape through in front of your little yard right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you mind if I stand right here? Oh, uh, you guys can go ahead. Come around. In, in the driveway? We're good? Yep, that's oh, I love you, darling. Thank yeah. you much. We can go in the driveway. Oh, we can? Yep. We just film the cops. That's it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we do it for safety. You know, rights. Make sure they don't do anything bad they're not supposed to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. No problem. Make sure I'm not this lady, uh, oh, um, she is out of the house with the kids in the ambulance. What about her husband? Okay, so he is un um, uncooperative, uncooperative in the basement. Allegedly saying he might have slipped his wrist in his throat. This yeah. Is like his fourth, fifth time. He's oh my gosh. Is it really? Yeah, one of the drinker? officers. I think he's um, battling like drugs or something. Okay, battling drugs. that's horrible. Yeah. Well, I hope they can get him the help. That's yeah. horrible. I, I, and I always no, you won't, Gilton. Like, please protect you and the kids. Right. Let well, him get the help he needs. Absolutely. The kids are, absolutely. The kids are out of there. She's out yeah. of there, but he is still inside there. Yeah. So. One of the officers came out a few minutes ago and asked for the love of God if anybody had a cigarette. I did. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I gave him a smoke and, and my lighter, so it went inside. <laughs> we actually, we actually got yeah. closer. Thanks for this lady here, so big shout out to this lady. Yeah, I ain't gonna put you on camera there, so don't worry about that. I'll, I'll respect <laughs> no, that. Everybody in the chat says thank you. Yeah, definitely the same. <laughs> We're both live right now on, on YouTube. Those poor kids. Yeah. They go through this. So and it's always the kids that suffer. It's so, yep. It's always. Always the kids. Yep. That's the most horrible thing. Maria Burtis, thank you. Welcome in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's there. It's behind the camera. I'm not a guest. What's up, young man? She drives a van, guy. I said she drives a van, guy. Uh, no, we're parked outside of the tape, luckily. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby, that's the last Hey, girl with camera, here. thank you for subscribing. Much love. Oh, see, look, you already subscribed to me because, look, you're a moderator. Uh, yeah. Almost every house I in Illinois has to be. Unless it's a mobile home. Oh, yeah. And I was like, the dog is never out this late. Right. They're wondering about this little puppy. So, yeah, if, if they ask, we are a guest on the property. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the only way we can get around and they, that. They can't say anything to either of them. Yep. Any of them. We're also okay. pushing us. Back where we can see. Yeah. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. So. <laughs> Sounds about loving you. you in the chat, by the way. <laughs> trying to be. They're like, she's awesome. <laughs> well, we had we had a traffic stop earlier, and when we pulled up, they were searching the guy's vehicle. Uh -huh. He didn't know. He could tell him, you know, you have to stop searching my vehicle. Uh -huh. Well, as soon as we told him that, uh -huh. he he's told the cops, hey, I don't want you searching my vehicle no more. They stopped immediately and let him go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just knowing your rights, that's all it is. It's like, I'm from Chicago, yep. and they don't let that shit happen up there. Oh, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, they can't stop your rights. <laughs> yep. Everybody should know their rights. Well, that's a good thing to know, though. Absolutely. I, I am, we are absolutely in the Detective Magic Cape. Yeah. It saves the cops from the camera. 
at semi-automatic frames per second. So did you guys put this stuff on social media? We're live right now. We're live on YouTube right now. Oh. Both of us. Oh. Yep. What's your guys' YouTube channel? I'm um, Illinois Tyrant News. Illinois what? Tyrant News. Mm-hmm. I'm named West Accountability. <laughs> so this, this has been... Ongoing. I mean, people. But I couldn't put it together, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Like, people have their bad days, you know, they're good and bad times. I was like, you know, I just, maybe he's just having a rough day. But it was a, maybe like a couple months ago, the cops were banging at my door for him. That's me. Okay. My mom probably. <laughs> I've traveled all over the U.S., so it's a okay. good film. How do you guys know to come here? Standards. Oh. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> we don't answer questions, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only acorns we have kilted are the ones in my pocket. I wonder how they're going to get him from out the base. Acorn. Um, one of two ways. It's either going to be the easy way or the hard way. Unfortunately. And that's what they're going to tell me. Yes. And I, I really hope it doesn't turn into a SSI yeah. by cop type yeah. situation. Thanks, Freddie. So, I mean, much love. If already feeling that way, yeah. then it's not going to take much to push him over. So they're, I, I'm sure they're being extremely careful right now. But yeah. we, you see all the stories on social media all the time about what cops do yeah. to we the people. And we've had enough. We're, yeah. we're sick of it. Honor your oath yep. and do what you're told. Right. We're, sure. we're their bosses. For sure. They took an oath to uphold that constitution. Uh, I'm doing okay. It's so scary because it's, it's like once Larry, he goes through this episode, you, he comes back. And it's like, I have kids too. So, yeah, so just, you worry about your kids too? I, I mean, worry like, about yeah. them a lot. We got yeah, people from New Zealand and Canada thanking you for being so sweet and <laughs> all over <laughs> the world. You. Calling you a patriot for oh. allowing us on here. Yep. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I am doing as good as I Aww. can be. It's kind of a summer moment. And they got a poor puppy cold, over here, too. So, again, update. Uh, Did they get the uh, lady you know, and the children out? Um, they are in the ambulance waiting. And they're still we inside the and in the basement, unfortunately. Basement. So, we can't see. Once they get him out of the house, we'll make sure that they don't violate his rights. And if they do, we'll catch it on camera. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. She's the same. Was that disc gaming? No glasses. I can't see. Now, generally, we don't. We try not to film people's houses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but you're allowed to film whenever you can see from public. Yeah. So, I mean, Supreme Court has already ruled that cops can sit outside your house as long as they want and film your porch. Okay. So what's the difference between them doing it and someone else? Especially with the cops in the middle. Yeah, because yeah, sure. I mean, as soon as you walk outside your house, you have no expectations of privacy in public. In yeah. Zero. Okay. So you can be filmed by anybody, unfortunately. I mean. Michigan thanks you as well. <laughs> hey, Michigan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. Could be... Oh, oh, they're coming out right now. Okay, so they're coming out with him right now, y'all. Good. He gave up peacefully. Yeah, sorry, brother. I couldn't see. Uh, I don't have my glasses. It's hard for me to read <laughs> the small chat. So I can't either. It's too dark. I don't see a lot of blood stains or anything, but that doesn't mean anything. That could have come in there. Yeah. Well, we're actually not on a public driveway. We're in a lady's uh, driveway. <laughs> driveway. So on her property. Private property. We are guests at her house, so they can't say shit. Bruce Turney. What kind of Yeah, exactly. Did? Prayers um, for uh, no, him and his uh, and girl and kids. I mean, his and his 
It's always a bad yes. scene when there's uh, kids around. And it's those of us that are parents, I mean, we know. And he gets to help. That's what's important. What's up, you? Huge erection. Good to see you. She went. She went inside, Jerry. Yep. Did she offer? Did you ask? Because I was like, hey, I gotta go around here, so I don't know the right thing. And actually, I was like, hey, actually, do you mind if I stay in the shower? Or should you go in the right way if you want? Yeah, so well, they might have Sometimes you just gotta though. ask, Probably. and you know um, the homeowner yes, will let you on their property to record, the <laughs> so we can get a better view. She said that this has been a recurring theme with this guy. Yeah, she wouldn't um, sign. It's happened four or five times. Before. I can understand. It's you know three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning almost now. Yeah. No, oh, Larry. Um, the call came over the radio, the wife called in and said that he did hurt himself, that he actually did cut himself in, in the throat and in, on the wrist. So I don't know if that's true, but his wrist is bandaged up, guys. So is his neck. His, yep, he, his neck and his wrist is bandaged up. So yeah, so his neck and wrist are bandaged yep, up, so he, he, did, he did cut them off. That's unfortunate, especially did. with kids in the home. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Hey, Lena. Oh, what was up with the rifle? Oh, he had a rifle. Oh, God, guys. No. Yeah. You can see it. That's theirs. No, it's not. Oh. That's not theirs, bro. So they, he had a rifle as had well. A rifle. <laughs> had a rifle on him. Taking it back in the side, inside, I guess. That might have been what she had also covered up in the blanket. That could be. Yeah. So there was a, a weapon inside the home, unfortunately. Let's just hope the guy gets help. Yeah. I don't know that it happened in front of his kids. They said that he was in the basement, and I'm I'm, I'm assuming the kids were asleep. What's up, Barlap? What's up, man? Um, but I don't know. We're, we're, we're not going to get a statement from any of the cops. They're going to be mad at, mad at us right now because we did come on the other property to film the incident. Yeah, see, they had their shields and everything. Yep. Kind of like your uh, cert response thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Janet. Like, at least he didn't use it. That's uh, that's the most important thing. I really don't think it was in front of his kids, y'all. No. I, I, I think it was just he was in the basement and did it. Which, at least yeah. he had the mental capacity to not hey, Barnett. in front of his kids. You know what I mean? John, if this isn't your property, you've got the other side of the We got permission from the homeowner. I understand. This is this ain't. This ain't. Yes, but we have permission from the homeowner We're to be here. Over here so. This is my crime scene. My, you know I don't ask you about my bullshit. Yeah, I know, Doug, but I got permission to be on this property so I can be on this property, and we and I both know that. Then I'm going to have you sign a crime scene log so you can come testify in court that you were here. It's up to you if you want to testify. I don't have to testify. Well, if you get subpoenaed, you don't show up to this year, Benjamin. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be petty, but we have rules when it comes to our crime scene. I know. You have permission. But I, I got it on video, I got permission. And she, she can come out and tell you too. I know. But and it's not that far, it's just on the other side of my table. I know, but I'm on her property. And I don't care if you know if you video or not. I'm on private property, Doug. I know. Okay then, that's enough said. I'm on private property. But you're inside my crime scene. But no I'm not, I'm on private property. Your crime scene's over here in this yard. My crime scene is probably not here. defined by the yellow crime scene because the police line do not cross. Where's the where's the line this way? Does it extend clear over to, to Indiana? So, so it extends into her property? It runs right here, all the way over, and it includes this. It runs all the way across the street, and that goes. Here we go, y'all. Pay attention. Okay. So, so her and her kid are going to be subpoenaed then because they were out here. Is that what you're saying? And they interfered? Yes. We're not interfering. Nobody's interfering. We're just standing here. Because you're outside in our crime scene. She's in her home. Okay? I'm asking for you guys. We were just out here talking to her for the last 15 minutes. It's fine, but again, I know, and she you gave me permission to come onto her property. I understand. It's in, this area is in my You don't. You don't understand. Yes, I do. No, you don't. That is public out there. This is private. I'm on You're private not tell property. Us what we can and can't do on private property where we're a guest. Okay. 
that this private area is part of my crime scene. No, I it's can not. Absolutely do that. Yes, it is. It's defined by the crime scene paper. Runs across Harvard. You cannot define somebody's property as crime scene. Huh? You cannot define somebody's private property as crime scene. I, I am. I, I, we do it all the time. That's exactly what we do when there's a crime scene. Yes, you block off houses to sidewalks from that, but I'm literally on their property right. and have permission and have been on this property since the beginning of it. I understand, but what I'm saying is now that you've been identified in my crime scene, I'm asking you to step outside of it. I am outside no of the crime scene. I am on feet. somebody else's property. It's 15 to 20 feet. I, if it's only 15, 20 foot, what's the problem? Because we're not moving from one here. One side is in my crime scene and the other is not. You still got my lighter, brother? Or did you get that? Can I have that back? Yeah, Thank you. Like See, I was even nice enough to give that guy a cigarette and my lighter. I appreciate it. And like I said, you know I don't fuck with you. I know, but I'm, 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 you know, I'm telling you, man, I'm going to stand firm, brother. I'm sorry. I'm can not going to move. Ask, can I ask why? Because, because I'm on private property. We're on private property. We're not part of that scene over there. Nope. We're not, get, we're not the moving crime, from the here. Crime scene is the crime scene is now over. The guy's in the ambulance. The crime scene's not over. We're still investigating stuff inside the house. Okay, then that's over there. The then that's this over there. That's this. As a crime scene. This is not the crime scene. Yes, it is. It's defined by this yellow tape. It's in our yellow tape. Like what? What? Don't you understand? It says police what? line. Do what? Not no, 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 no crime what? happened on this property. How do you she know? said I could come on this were property and stand in her driveway. I talked to the lady that lives here. But were you here from the inception of the incident? Yes. Yes. No, you weren't. We, we were here, here from the whole thing. We were here before you guys. Only two minutes. And then when we set up a crime scene tape, we move people outside the crime scene. We yes, like and we moved time. outside, and, that, and I asked that lady, right, when I was standing right there, which is on camera, right. and I'm live right now, Doug. I'm live. That's fine. I don't care if you're live. That's I, uh, I can stand right here in her property. She said, matter of fact, you can come over into my driveway if you'd like. Right. But okay. I, but police, so we moved over here into her driveway where we're out of your scene and on police, private property. The police have defined the crime scene. She doesn't define the crime scene. Her the private police, property so, defines so, so private and, and property. And her house is now at the crime scene, too? Not inside her house. If you want to stand inside her house and she lets you in the house, that's fine. Because it's not outside. But outside, outside on private property is a crime scene. Parts of it, yes. What oh. part isn't over here? What part is not? What yeah. part, on the other what side part of her scene? property is a crime that's scene is what I want to know. Yes, it is. Part of her yard is on the other side of our crime scene. Man, you know what? If you, just, if you just conduct your investigation and leave us alone, we're being quiet. We're not interrupting you guys. We're not bothering nothing. So I don't understand why you're continuing to push the issue when we're not part of the scene. We're, we were standing prison. here talking to so each other and Sergeant to the homeowner. Doug Barnett. And not Barnett, bothering nobody. -E and now you want to. You say you don't want to be petty while being I'm petty. I'm just asking you a favor to do Well, you're favor. asking. Is, I, it, yes. is it a lawful command? Yes, it is no, a lawful what's command. What's the lawful part of it? The lawful command is get out of my crime scene. That's the lawful command. Doug, we're, do, on, we're on private I'm just property, you man. I've always gotten along with you guys. I know. I've but, never messed with you guys. I don't. I'm not saying go down the street. We're not trying to I'm mess saying, with you either, but you... Go right across you, the other side of my tape. That's all I'm asking. Just saying, you, 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 you're not understanding where we're coming from. I am understanding where you're coming from. You're I understand not. private property rights, and I understand how crime scenes work. I've been a police officer for a very long time. Yes, I know. I know you know. And, 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 you know? and I've studied the laws just as long as you've been a cop. No, and I don't... You know I don't jack people. So what if we go back over here? Is that going to be part of the crime scene too? It is within the bounds of the yellow tape. Yeah. How? So anywhere, I don't understand that. Look, guys. Your boundary stops. He says clear back over here is going to be this is it private property, and I know the laws on that. Yes, it's private property. And we can yes, private but you cannot private remove private me from private property. We can if it's in my crime scene. It's not in your crime scene. Yes, this is. is not your. This property is not your crime scene. It's that property is your crime scene. It's defined by the yellow tape. The crime scene is what we determine it to be. Are you, you, I mean, you're not even removing the occupants of the, of the property we're standing on, so how because can you remove us? Because they're in us? their house. The this is an extension of their house. It's on their property. The interior of the house is not the crime scene. Neither is the out exterior, because that crime scene is over there. The crime scene is defined by the yellow tape. I'm not moving. I'm, 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 I'm really like, going to stand on her property where I was told I can stand okay. by the homeowner. Right, and we take, we take parts of private property for a crime scene temporarily all the time. That's yes, when it's involving that property. And you can't block off, you can block off the street, the sidewalk and that, but you can't block somebody's property. I did, I blocked everything okay. on the street, all the way across the street. Right, this is all and we were place. here in the including time frame of all of it, Doug. I mean, literally. Okay. So, 
We have been here the end. Look, I understand. I mean, I'm 32 minutes now into my live stream. That's fine. And I didn't notice you in my crime scene because I was back there. You were that's inside. Why asked, and that's why I asked you to come out here and go on the other side of the the, your other officer already asked me, hey, I got putting tape up, so we went outside the tape, and that's when the lady said, hey, you can come on our property. Well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Lieutenant just said leave it be for tonight, so I think that's best for everybody mm -hmm. involved. Just go on about your business, leave us alone. We'll be here out of the way and not bother anybody. So I got Lieutenant on camera saying just leave it be. That's fine. So, yep. and, and I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm going to stand on my rights. Okay, that, that's fine. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Just Same does. I mean, just understand in the future. If you're in a crime scene and you're asked to leave, and you don't. You can't be arrested. If, if I'm on private property, yes, good luck can. with that. That's fine. I mean, we arrest people on private property. Private we'll, we'll see just it understand. in court. And, and on another ep, another note, five seven nine just broke down something down there. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it, it's, it's the oldest. The, the serpentine belt just blew. Totally unrelated. Um, and this this is actually a family question. How's your dad doing? How's my dad doing? Because yeah, I know your mom passed, and your dad had some health issues. You said. Um, I saw you in the summer. You said Dad was having problems. Yeah, he's um, he's doing better. Good. He's doing better. Glad so. to hear. So I know that was kind of touch and go for you. And Thank you. Box yeah, I, Again, I appreciate not, I appreciate that, Doug. But not, yeah, not trying I mean, to be a dick, but so, we're, we're gonna stand on it. And okay. I mean, well, that, that's, that's how fine. it is. Like I said, I, I moved on. That's why I was asking about. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, Doug. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick. That's fine. Stand my ground. So, John Eagle. Trying to remove us from private property. I'm on private property. Yeah, we're on private property, guys. It'd be different if we was out on the sidewalk or something. I understand that, but we're on private we're property. We're on the 20... 3200 block in North Harvard in Peoria, Illinois. Yeah, he wants to share private info. Exactly. Trying to dox. Yep. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, by mentioning you, Dad, yeah, that's mm -hmm. private information. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like you haven't done it yourself, but the point that he's doing is his unprofessional self. Uh, no, IMO. It's uh, down off you War Memorial up, towards um, Adam Street. Um, yeah. You think he's going to hold a grudge here? Heading uh, uh, eastbound down know. War Memorial. We'll find out. Towards Tazewell County. Yeah, kind of the north end. Um, Let me get my... I'm about a mile, actually about a half mile up from where Hardy's would be. That's kind of fucked up that Barish is the smartest one of them all right now. Because cause he went viral. He's famous. Thank you, Maria. Do a complaint on him about the doctrine. I disobeyed him hard in his brain. Absolutely, Jerry. Yeah, the lady went inside yes. with her ch Adrena, child and I think went to bed. For the most part, he does she might be watching from the inside. Who knows? Um, for some reason, his ego got a hold of him this time and he just would not let it go. Watch out for retaliatory stop while you drive away. Yeah. Well, we'll just wait here until they all leave. Is that so? Lady. And, and look, guys. Look. Look, look, look. Crime scene is, tape is being taken down. So in that time that he was arguing with us, they could have resolved it, and this crime scene tape could have been taken down, and it would have been done and over with. So now. Yes, she's now still what? cool with us chilling. She said we can be here as long as we want. Now what? Utah, we just stood our ground. Right, right? Kerr. Hardcore. Unless there is an actual extingency, an officer cannot enter a residence for the purpose of making a warrantless felony. Exactly, yep. Farlap. Thank you, Farlap. Okay, 
check back with homeowner after to see if they give her any shit. Yeah, 579 for Yeah, we, we should. What? Check back with her mm -hmm. in a few days mm -hmm. or, or whatever. Just keep her mm -hmm. and come back and check with her. Mm -hmm. I don't even know her name. Huh? I didn't even catch her name. But, but you know the address. Mm -hmm. I know we the don't house. have the document. Yeah, just, yeah I'll come by. Yeah. Know, yeah. And, 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 Journalist, yeah. as a um, journalist. Illinois will do that, guys. Illinois will come and check on it. Make sure. Know your rights. Stand on your rights, y'all. Thank you, truth be told. I appreciate that. I'm out Blemished here with, uh, to Illinois disc. Now I can read well, it. Guys. <laughs> Allegedly. Thank you, Carthy. <laughs> Owner of the property who let you stay. Yeah. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to check back with you. No, oh, thank you, Street Cops. Eggsy, what's up? Man, you missed it. I'm Eggsy. just out here doing the educations. Yep. You missed Shooting it. The videos. They tried moving us off of private property. 420 somewhere. I will appreciate you joining and the now, club. They Welcome are all the leaving and all that bitching at us to leave private property because we're in their crime scene and now they're all leaving. What he said. Literally two minutes, two minutes after we were done standing on the ground, they took the tape down. And three of them's already left. Yep. He bitched for three minutes. He, he bitched for like five minutes. Yeah. And then two minutes later, they take the time to change out. What's up? Eggs, he says, what? No, not Kilted. Kilted's not here, Eggsy. No, Kilted's uh, probably asleep. Looks like they got the kids and the mom walking back up this way. I'm yeah, we're going to I mean, uh, it's because we were here, Howard. That's all it was. At the beginning, we were standing over here. Okay. So from right this on. tree to that sign over there or that post, they put up crime scene tape. Kids. Huh? Kids. And they're. So they put up crime scene tape across there. They didn't put crime scene tape across this lady's yard. Across the, the driveway here. So she offered for us to be in her driveway. So that's where we're staying. I know it, the title says that because the app that I'm using, I can't change it until I get on her laptop. Thank you, Lucky. I appreciate you. Yeah, I figured out a title for this one now. Wow. A different cop would have pushed it. No. No, because even the most asshole cop. Exactly, it. Janet. Huh? Janet hers. Oh. Damn it, Janet. We're going to move the camera up. Kids walking by. Yep. Pretty shot on the moon over here. <laughs> you guys see it through the trees. You guys get some good shots? Good shots of the cops. Why? Why? Yeah, so are we. Right? It is pretty. I agree. Tell me you hate freedom without telling me you hate freedom. <laughs> what you said. Yeah, exactly. Tell me you hate freedom without telling me you hate freedom. Why? They're doing their job. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's getting ready to work. So. Don't forget, you guys, in a week, you can watch the full solar eclipse happen in certain parts. Acting as, as if property is constant without being property. Exactly. <laughs> now, the car seat, that was the, that was the guy's wife and kids that were walking by, and she was asking, did you get some good shots? No, well, actually, yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> Several. I mean, I feel for her. I feel for her family, but I'm sorry. Things like this matter to a lot of people. And what if they had done something wrong to her husband while they were bringing him out? And there was no video to prove it. Yeah, they're going to have to tow that squad car because it broke down sitting there. It literally threw the serpentine belt while I was looking at it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Josh. We can't, uh, it wouldn't be possible without, uh, you guys subscribers. I mean, you guys are the ones that help me get my views up. Oh, yeah. 
down here. And we got one of these squad cars down here is broke down. 579? 579 is broke down. Yeah. It brought down everything but there. ID refusal in this video. <laughs> right? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I thought that was coming. For you. <laughs> yeah. They know me. <laughs> Going back to check to make sure everything's all right. Absolutely. Okay, Stephen. Well, yeah. Let's go down here. Let me lower this. So I can carry it. Go down here and check out the broke down. Squad car? Broke down squad car. That was even nice and gave him to do the cigarette and my lighter. Yeah. You need to come out and try and be a dick. What's up with that? Good morning. Way too early for stupid stuff. Hey, are they, is anyone dead? No. No, they didn't die, but they... No, no. He, um, he hurt himself. Apparently, allegedly, took a razor blade to his neck injury. I don't... Yeah, exactly. Subpoena me. I'd love to see a subpoena for that. What, you calling me a witness? I ain't a witness. I mean, I'm a journalist. Out here catching the news story. How are you going to call me a witness? So this is part of uh, the trail here that runs down towards the river. So yeah, so there's uh, our broke down car sitting there. It uh, literally quit running while I was standing up here. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> right, TAC? <laughs> I don't have to. They're calling the tow truck for it. It's getting hauled away. Man, that's much love to you, Freddie. I appreciate you. I don't... Yeah, I mean, you got it somehow. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Is that a doghouse? No? Okay. <laughs> this little shed? Okay. <laughs> I thought, I was like, that'd be perfect for my dog, man. <laughs> She's fitting. They're great. I do. I've got an Akita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's huge. She's about 125 pounds. But she's a big baby. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I just rescued her a month ago. All we can do is... Yeah. I'm, I'm big in a rescue. So. Yeah, so if you guys uh, can update, so um, 
the dog that I posted on my community chat that I was looking for a home for, if you guys haven't noticed, I gave her that forever home myself. And uh, her name is Isabella, and she is doing absolutely wonderful. She is uh, coming around great. She still has a little uh, separation anxiety, and uh, her spirit's still a little broken, but I'm fixing that with a whole bunch of loves and some treats. So, yeah, y'all. This is why Carlos broke down. Myth dead. It went clunk, clunk, clunk. They said it's the oldest one. And again, for Doug, who was asking about my father. Is this um, down here? Or did no, leave? he's right there in that car. That's Doug right there? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, yeah. no, maybe not. That might, that be, might Hanny. be Hanny. I think that's Hanny. Yeah. Yeah, I think Doug already left. Oh, yeah. 579. Thanks, Imo. Is a big but yeah, so my dad actually fell a week ago, it'd be today, and uh, busted his hip in three spots. <laughs> So, but he's back at home already uh, after his surgery and getting a rod and pins put in his hip. Um, he's doing pretty well. He's already up moving around and walking and still in a lot of pain. But, you know, that's going to be like that for a bit. So I've been over there pretty much every day uh, since last Sunday um, helping my dad. Well, of course, you know, we took him to the hospital and uh, got him fixed. Spent, what, three or four days in there? Four days. It was a long night. So. Well, thanks, Utah. Much love. Uh, we took him to OSF. Um, I don't do Carl Health. Myself. Um, he has to go to OSF. Wait, wait, wait. Acorn. Acorn just fell. Oh shit. Watch out for straight fire, these scared F cops. <clears throat> Damn acorns, they be falling out of my pockets. I, I don't get it. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't believe Doug was the one that did it. And Parrish is the one that told him to leave it alone. Right. That that's that, bass acorns. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, so if y'all didn't catch that um Here's Lieutenant Barry, who I've had so many issues Here's with. Um, we actually, was the one that walked past Doug and said, just leave it. Leave him be. So, and that's usually a bass actor. Usually it's um, the lieutenant giving me the hassle like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right, Janet. That's exactly what it was. Me and my wife have talked. And, um... Edwina says, run, falling acorns. <laughs> Uh, because of what she has done for my happiness, we decided to keep her. Well, I'm gonna keep because she's good for me too. We can get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. So I'm staying alive for a moment until we get back. To, we get back to the vehicle and start to get up out of here. But much love, much love for everybody tuning in, catching our backs while we were here dealing with an idiot. I know, I know. I even got some on my shelf in my freaking house. <clears throat> well, I got my lighter back. That was good. <laughs> oh, we are plainly visible too. Oh, hardcore. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys and gals. I can see our vehicle, so. Dog, big dog running, big dog. I can't see it. I can. No, my best. I'm showing the chat. <clears throat> I got a vest on, so. Yeah, yeah thank God it's not a buckeye. Those wait, are big. Wait, that dog's coming at us. Hey, we got a dog coming at us. It's a big pit bull. Don't know what's it aggressive at us. Back, go home. Go, go home. On. Go on. <laughs> go, go on. on. Go home. Don't do that. Go home, baby. Go on. Go puppies. Good girl. Go puppies. Go puppies. Go on. Come on, let's go I'm home. I'm gonna have to pop you with a pepper ball. Hey, their dog got out. Got a pit bull coming your way. Big dog coming at you. 
420, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know what that dog was gonna do. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I I'm a dog owner and a lover, but <laughs> <laughs> the mace came out. <laughs> Yeah, I pulled out my burner. Yeah, I ain't getting bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I love dogs to death, and I'm a dog owner, but I'm, yeah, I'm not getting bit. Hey, we're gonna, I'm going to keep you guys live. I don't have mine with me. you got to get out of here. Yeah. And you know how they are. Retaliatory stops and shit, so. Just don't feel that late. No, I know. No, Joe Cool. I already rescued a dog a month ago. When you come over sometime, you'll see her. <laughs> Actually, you can go to my channel. Sorry. <laughs> this is too dark. Huh? It was too dark. Oh, I forgot what you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and kill it. We're back in the vehicle. Um, Midwest is staying live for a little bit, I think. For, for a minute, anyway. So, everybody have a great, wonderful Sunday morning. Uh, this is Illinois Tire News out here with uh, Midwest Accountability. And I am out.